Hi guys, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. This is a topiary I made from svgcuts.com. It is absolutely beautiful. It comes in the thank you for the music file. Okay, so to get this picture in here, because a lot of times I like to bring in an actual uh, photo of what I'm doing, you come up here to file and you come to place image and you can select the JPEG. Okay, and that will show you what you're doing. Okay, so in here I have five pages. This one is the <laughs> this one is the flower. This is the filler flower. This is the inside of the urn. This is the bottom of the urn and this is the outside. Okay? So page 1, let me show you how I do this. I come in here. I will take you back. I, mine is in downloads. Thank you for the music. SVG's floral topiary. Come into the flowers. There's the four flower, the first page. Here's the second page. Okay, and as you see, this is a three by four. And what I did when I brought mine in is I also added some duplicates um, so that I could have a full page cut. Okay, so now let's come back, and here's the urn. This is the bottom, the inside panels and these inside panels will not show okay and this is the outside of the urn all of these are already in proportion so they are true to size when you go to cut them you do not have to increase or decrease the size unless you wanted a larger a larger urn um, like if you have a bigger ball what I used was a six inch green foam ball and I spray painted it like a pinkish color um, and you have to use spray paint and not the uh, regular like brush on ac acrylics because the brush on acrylics it takes it forever to dry so you want to use spray paint okay but these are all in proportion already if you want to increase the urn size you're going to have to come through and like your page three give it two clicks up page four and page five the same thing so increase them all with the same amount of clicks, so either three clicks, four clicks, two clicks, whatever. Okay? And then page three and page four can be cut out of the same color. However, since four is too big to be put on page three, that's why it gets its own page. All right? So with this flower file, I cut like 10 sheets of each out of three different colors of pink and like six different uh, white. Uh, cuts so this will all this whole page will be cut like 30 to 40 different times all right just be prepared <laughs> but when you do you're gonna assemble them with a needle and you stick that needle in I kind of put mine at an angle and that held it really well you can use glue but you'll have to use a foam uh, appropriate type of glue so it sticks okay and then here's page two and there's the three by four and then I just duplicated some more of the filler flowers and what the filler flowers do is you see these kind of like little holes here you can stick them in there and it covers those holes up um, and I put my flowers in pretty tight um, because I wanted it to look kind of like a hydrangea type of flower um, and I love it I think it turned out beautifully um, so you, what you do is your inside you'll make your inside urn first with the inside page three and page four be in the bottom you make that and then you put your outside pieces on and glue it together like that all right I added all the extra ribbon I added some extra butterflies there 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 and there's another one on there somewhere um, and then I added some pit berries I just kind of curled them around my finger and stuck them in there. They're not glued or stapled, nothing. They're just kind of hanging around in there. Um, but you can do whatever you want. When you're ready, you come up here to File and you click Export. And you are going to export each individual page. So you'll export page one, two, three, and so on. All right. And you can choose to name them however you want. Um, when I did it, I did Topiary 1, Topiary 2, Topiary 3, and so on okay because I had my computer open so I could see what the different pages were but you could always you know use topiary uh, main flower 
filler flower, inside urn, bottom urn, outside urn, however you want to do it. All right, so that is how I went about making this topiary, um, actual topiary out of the topiary file from SVG Cuts. Um, it is so easy to do in scale um, in Canvas. What you'll have to do is you'll have to bring in page one. You'll have to export it. Then you'll have to come back in, come and grab the next file, and you'll have to do it that way. So you won't be able to see all of your files, um, but at least you'll be able to get them onto your stick and take them to the machine. Okay? All right, guys, if you have any questions, just um, give me a holler at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. That is the best place to get a hold of me. Thanks.